Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Carlos, for coming out here. And um, the struggle still continues. Uh, my yeah. question to you is, um, during 1968, being an athlete, you know, winning is always your main priority. But men like yourself, Muhammad Ali, and countless others stood up. Um, do you think, so my question to you is today, as we face new struggles and new economic realities, um, will the athletes um, of today stand with us, the working class people? Well, you know, this whole thing is built around courage. How do you get an individual to build their courage up? When they see the masses of the people here defining what courage is, I think it gives them encouragement to say, you know, I have enough muscle too to step up to the plate. Athletes have to take into account, man, it's not your choice as to whether you're a role model to people. People choose you as a role, role model. And then they're going to start to realize that their athleticism is just a stepping stone as to who they should be and could be as a human being. So we have to just wait and see what happens with them. And just one story to give you a sense of hope. After John spoke at Occupy Wall Street, I got a phone call from, people might know who this is, a Tom Thomas, who plays for the Atlanta Hawks. And he said, wow, if someone from 68 is stepping up, how can we today not step up? And so Atan, Atan wrote up a statement that included John's quote and about saying, I'm here for you. Why? Because I am you. Because of what we fought for 43 years ago has not yet been won. And then wrote, as athletes, there is a proud tradition of people like Muhammad Ali, Billie Jean King, who have stood up and used that hyper-exalted platform to speak for social justice. And now we, the undersigned, stand with the Occupy Together movement today. So that just goes to show you, that doesn't happen if John doesn't step up at Occupy. It just goes to show you everything we do has reverberation effects that we might not even be aware of today but it makes a huge difference down the line.